Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Bella and today we're going to talk about how to fight swollen face in the morning. If the panda effect can still be covered up with some help of cosmetics, uh, then the swollen face cannot be hidden. How to deal with the problem and look good in the morning? Stay with me to find out. Why does swelling occur? Puffiness and swelling of facial tissues and unhealthy gray color always indicates a violation of blood circulation. It is necessary that the blood in the body can circulate freely without encountering any obstacles in a way. Why is swelling on the face most often noticeable after we sleep? It's simple, when we are in a horizontal position, the natural outflow of fluid from the head slows down because the head and the body are horizontally at the same level. And if a person is not all right with the blood supply, then the situation in the morning worsens even more. Sometimes a swollen face is a consequence of kidney or endocrine system disease. Also allergy and problems with thyroid. In this case, visit GP or your doctor for examination. Make sure that your last meal is at least three hours before the bed. It is clear that first of all, the appearance of edema is because of salty or over-salted food. These are all pickles, salted and dried fish, fast food, uh, fries, chips, ketchup and other store sauces. Sweets also contribute to water retention, especially fatty ones. Cakes and pastries, chocolates and sweets, basically our favorite ones. <laughs> Anyway, all of this food cause thirst and hence the accumulation of fluid in the tissues. In general, we should eat as healthy as possible, but it is important you avoid these products dinner time. Instead, include products non-starchy vegetables. All greens, berries, basically alkaline food. Another reason for your puffy face is water. You don't drink enough water or eat watery vegetables, which also help you to stay hydrated. I usually prepare a jug of water approximately 2 liters for the next day and drink all of it during the day. Moving to fillers and botox which also is a reason for puffy or edematous face. Muscles is a natural pump and muscles contraction contributes to normal blood circulation. And when Botox is injected, then muscles can't move for at least six months and blood supply in the tissues is disrupted, which leads to puffiness. Same as fillers made from hyaluronic acid, which attract water to enhance their effectiveness. It is basically a magnet for the water. And of course, hello, puffy face. Another cause of facial edema is certain type of aging. These are a certain type of structure of soft tissues. Not every uh, type of aging tend to be puffy. It is anatomical structure of the face. Where the fatty structures are quite voluminous, are prone to swelling, these are subcontinuous fatty tissues and fatty bags. And their structure is an individual feature of a person's appearance. Let me show you how to wake up our lymphatic system. First, as soon as I wake up, I start my day with lymphatic jumps. Raise on your toes so that your heels are about an inch from the floor. And then drop sharply. The bump should feel like when running or walking. It should not cause pain in the head. I know it looks a bit funny, <laughs> but trust me, it is super effective. And try to do jumps as fast as possible. Do it from 50 to 100 times. Every morning you will see the result. Second one, let's pump our lymph nodes. Uh, put your fingers like a V shape, put it under your ears and do gentle rubbing like this. Please don't push it too hard. We don't want the reverse effect. We don't want it actually to be more puffy. I mean the face more puffy than it is already. We do it with a gentle movement. Also, you can do the movement in circular motions. Both effective and both good. 
Choose whichever you like or do both of them. 30 seconds is enough. Third one, when you wash your face, do the pressing massage movement. Starting from the center of your face, press it and move it to the periphery and then down to your neck and collarbone. Do it five, six times. This is a bit difficult for me to do it because I don't have anything on my face. No oil, no cleanser, moisturizer. I mean, I have moisturizer which I applied in the morning. Fourth one, after washing, do the gentle pressing under your eyebrows. Put your fingers under your eyebrows, starting from again from the center and do like a roll over movement. Again, all of these uh, massages shouldn't cause any pain. Nice and gentle. Do it five, six times. After, when you apply your serums, do gentle pressings. Again, from the center to the periphery. Like this. It feels good. Basically, every morning, have five minutes just for yourself to refresh your face, to wake your lymphas up. And the last one, pump your lymph nodes above your collarbone. Put your fingers above your collarbone. Uh, always help uh, with the shoulders, a little bit round your shoulders to make this uh, small depth so you can feel the collarbone. And inhale. And when you exhale, do the pressing. That's it. Now, girls, you are ready to conquer the world. And boys. Thank you so much, guys, for watching the video. Please don't forget to put like and subscribe not to miss another useful video. Stay healthy and beautiful.